What's up everyone, Bob Ganoush here again doing another Elite Dangerous video. Today's video is on the Distant Worlds 2 expedition that I'm a part of. As you can see, my name is on the roster. Um, here's, here's a screenshot of the waypoints that we're going to be hitting during the first stage of our expedition. And, 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 and this is just some, some quick info on it. If you want to pause at, at like those uh, three images, you can do that too and just check them out. Um, but I wanted to share those three screenshots so that you can get some kind of information on everything, you know. But uh, but yeah. So if you didn't know what Distant Worlds 2, the expedition is, it's it's a massive expedition of thousands and thousands of of uh, players in game. And as you see here, I hopped in on the starting point for the expedition, and there's a lot of people out here. Um, and some NPCs too, but this is the most, this is probably the most amount of players I've ever seen in, in, in one single instance. Uh, this is at the uh, Distant Worlds of Beacon in the system Polani, I think it's pronounced. But um, but the goal of, of this whole trip is for us to make it to uh, Beagle Point that is directly across the other side of the galaxy. I've been there once before in a Diamondback Explorer a couple months after I first started playing the game in 2017 um, I actually made it out there and I actually had some struggles because there's a there's a part of the trip where you have to cross something called the abyss and it's basically a giant section of space that the stars are so dense and less and less occurring that like unless you have like a specific trail or like a certain kind of breadcrumb of uh, systems that uh, like you can hop on and take and unless you have a ship with with an insane amount of jump range like anything over I don't know 45 50 like it becomes a challenge to even navigate it so uh, so yeah like doing that in a 30 in a 30 Five light year jump range ship was 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 quite a challenge. I got stuck. I had to return uh, like three thousand light years and then go over like another five thousand, like to my right, like just to get on a trail that someone else did. But anyway, so that's the main goal of the trip. It's for all of us to reach uh, Beagle Point and find cool shit along the way, uh, navigate away um, to to that point. And, you know, hopefully make it there and hopefully find some cool and interesting things along the way. Um, this is the next target system that we're actually heading to. So, as you can see, it's getting really close to the launch here from our first waypoint. And uh, so I'm gearing up. I actually waited just a tad too late to start up my uh, my frame shift drive. So, like, you're going to see other uh, people jump first before me. I'm going to be like... I don't know, two seconds, three seconds late. But I was a part of the mass jump. Um, I'm just a little, two or three seconds late, and uh, and yeah, this is the, this is the mass jump for the distant worlds two of expedition. So we're about to hop into the next system, and uh, I'll show you what's cooking there. Alright, so here we are. We're in the next system that we jumped to. Um, it's the first jump from from our starting system. And, uh, you know, for like a little bit, I was kind of confused on on exactly, uh, um, you know, like where we were headed, where we were going. I didn't really know, um, like for sure, our next set of uh, destinations were. So I was looking at, at the waypoint list in Discord. I was chatting with the guys. Um, and I figured out that our next destination was a system called Shapley One. And, uh, this place, like, I don't think it was anything really special or anything really, really like all that. But, um, but I think it had like a nice little view, uh, coming into it, I want to say. Um, so, I mean, that was nice. But it wasn't anything really spectacular. Like, uh. So our goal is to is to make it to uh, Beagle Point, but like we have like a couple of different stages 
and uh, points of interest that we have listed along the way that we can stop and check out and uh, and like you know check out and see what's cool there and and just explore around a little bit but so basically from the starting point we have five days to make it to our our first main uh, destination and then we're gonna reconvene there and probably do a couple little things there and then we're gonna set off on another huge waypoint with some uh, points of interest along the way I'm assuming that that's how it's gonna go but uh but yeah so this was only the the first like um, I think hour or two like that I recorded of the trip uh, but this is Shapley one as you can see it's just a really bright and beautiful star yeah uh, with some cool colors but for the most part it wasn't anything that spectacular now our next destination that's where shit got really <laughs> got really interesting I think it's like I think the system's called HR um, 6164 or something like that I can't really see the screen that well but this is where things took a turn for the worst I feel like it was almost uh, uh, it was almost catastrophic for me um and I'm so glad I recorded this because it's just it's just one of those things that you tell but it's so much better being seen so the waypoint for this system is called the view and when I got in here like I didn't realize you know like what's so special like about the place I was like you know yes it has a beautiful star and and whatnot and then I saw some like some guy type in chat that it has two black holes these are those two black holes so I was like <laughs> I was like you know is 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 this the view is is this what this system is for to see these two black holes I realized you know like I recorded like a bit of me going to the black hole but like they were really small and I didn't feel like it was worth Footing. this is the view this is where shit went down so like I didn't check it but this planet has an insane amount of gravity and it's something I've, I've never once experienced on this game I've experienced planets with with high gravity but but <laughs> this is the first planet with this kind of gravity that I've experienced and it was fucking crazy um what happens is I come into the planet and like I didn't realize how fast I was dropping I didn't realize how hard the planet was pulling me down and there's about like you know four or five other guys already here chilling <laughs> I'll just let it speak for itself alright so as you can see I crash landed into the planet hard now what I'm not realizing at the moment was the planet is constantly dragging me down to the surface so like as much as I try to thrust her up it's pulling me back down like no matter what I do and I didn't realize this and I have good shields on my ship like it's not shitty shields I have I have like a 5a prismatic uh, shield on it and I think I've got two shield boosters so I was pretty surprised but my, my ship my shields drop completely my ship haul goes like as you can see like right here it, it's 97 percent i'm like okay well i mean that's not bad and then i try to land boom 66 percent my shields went down like 45 percent or something like that that's fucking nuts <laughs> so i was freaking out so i was like man look if i'm gonna die just let me get a good view real quick before i die uh, luckily I didn't die, but all the other guys in the chat were, <laughs> they started laughing like, man, kind of rough landing, huh? So, um, so yeah, that's whenever I decided to, to finally hop out and, and get in the SRV. So, like, roaming around the planet was actually a really beautiful experience. Um, and like, I know I say that things are beautiful in the game a lot, but it just really is. It's, it's the only way to, 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 to like, describe uh some of these views that you see and and like as you can see like when i thrust her up and 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 and, and like try to gain some air of an srv the gravity almost instantly pulls you down like watch that well, i mean he's going up but like you see how fast his his scarab just drops back down to the surface 
And that's because the gravity is so, it's so high on this planet. It's like, you know, any amount of, of air that you get, it like instantly pulls you back down. But I mean, besides that, the view here, you know, including with its name is amazing. I mean, I've, I've never seen anything like this in the game. Like this, this might be the most, the most, uh, the most insane view I've ever seen in the game. So, I mean, it is dangerous coming here simply for the fact of how high the gravity is. But, um, but apparently, like, if you have, like, a smaller ship like an Asp or, like, a Diamondback, uh, coming in on this planet isn't as bad because that ship is so much lighter. But, you know, because I came out here, um, in an Anaconda and the ship, <laughs> I'm glad I brought two SRVs, uh, like, <laughs> The Anaconda is such a huge ship, you know, it it weighs a lot. So, like, you're going to fall much faster and harder than what an asp is going to fall down. So, uh, so yeah, I almost died. And, like, <laughs> like that wasn't even the end of my struggles. So, so like, some, some guy was trying to, to, like, repair my ship. So, I was like, hell yeah, dude. Like, if you want to repair me, let's get it on. So yeah, he started trying to repair my ship, and we quickly realized that that like it didn't matter how many limpets he fired off at my ship because the uh, gravity on the planet was so insane. We feel like the the gravity was probably pulling the the limpets down and killing them like almost instantly. So we quickly realized that we had to like go into the sky so that so that he can repair me there. So we had to keep our thrusters engaged up. And uh, going upwards so that we could stay in the sky and actually get repaired, which was actually a challenge. And then right after I, right after I got repaired, I crashed down into the planet a second time and went back down to like 33%. Uh, and I had to get repaired by two two guys at the same time. So I mean that was a challenge, and it was funny. I think I think we all got a couple of laughs. It wouldn't have been funny if I had died, but. I mean, for the most part, it was funny. So just a word of warning, if you ever come to that planet, be careful when you land. You can die if you're in a big ship or you come in too hard. So um, this system is actually the last system that I'm going to show you in this video. Um, it's only one small part of, the, of this journey. I'm going to be doing more videos on it. Um, I figured I would stop off here for the night and I would, con I would con continue in the morning. So... I've actually got uh, about six more waypoints, maybe four, four or six more uh, waypoints that I have to go until I get to the final waypoint of, of the first uh, part of our journey. So, um, you know, if you like this video and you want to see more, feel free to like it and, sub and, and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'll do more videos on this expedition as we go along, but hope you enjoyed it.